Today's topic is Victor Wembanyama. I just want to give you my thoughts about what he's doing this season and what makes him so incredible. I'm just going to go fully unscripted and give you my entire just opinion on him, what I think he could become, and just what he's doing now because it's truly incredible. I think right now he's averaging around 20 and a half points a game or around 21. I think it's 10 or 11 rebounds, a steal, and three and a half blocks a game. It's incredible for a seven foot four guy to be that mobile, that that quick. I mean, he's not like the fastest guy out there, but he's you could see him. He's sprinting down the floor. He's it's incredible how a seven foot four guy can like move like that. When have we ever seen a huge seven foot plus guy running down the court like that, hitting threes? I mean, besides Bull Bull, and I mean Kristaps can hit threes, but like. Not like Wemby, man. I mean, this is incredible what we're seeing from Wemby. Like, this early on in his career. He's 20 years old. He just turned 20, like, I don't know, what, a month or two ago? I don't even know when his birthday is. But he, like, just turned 20, like, this season. He's a rookie, and he's getting better every single month. October through now, he's gotten better every single month. And it's incredible to see... Like, how quick he's getting, like, used to the NBA, and he's getting better. Like, he's, like I said, he's averaging, like, three and a half blocks a game, and recently, I don't know what, like, the last week, last two weeks, whatever, last however many games, I think it's probably, like, five or something like that. I don't know. You could probably correct me in the comments, but he's averaging five blocks a game. Around, like, I think it's a steal and a half or two steals, and it's incredible. He's had two five by five games already in his rookie season the last five by five game or five five steals five blocks was in 2019 from Yusuf Nurkic and it's incredible we're seeing this from a rookie and we're going to continue to see five by five games from Wemby throughout his entire career we might even see like two more this season maybe more I don't know like this guy has the potential to be a consistent five by five player defensive player five steals five blocks in one game and his defense is like just by saying he got two five by five games I think they were back to back even is incredible and it shows so much and he, like people are saying oh what's his potential he is he go potential he doesn't have a potential how like <laughs> I know that sounds stupid saying he doesn't have a potential but like he could become anything he could literally become the best player in NBA history and still be greater than that. Like, his potential is literally has no cap. He can get better at everything. Shot blocking, stealing, defense, whatever. He can get better at everything. His potential is literally limitless. I, I don't see it like, saying like, oh, this is going to be his peak. I'm not saying I might be glazing a little bit, but... This guy is going to be incredible. What we are seeing from him in his rookie season. In his rookie season. And he's getting better month by month. is crazy. What, what is 2011? A steal, three and a half blocks. Hitting threes. He's got already a triple-double. I know that's any player can basically triple-double if they have the right amount of minutes. And they're not five foot four. But, all right, that, that might be dumb to say that any player can get a triple-double. But... Like, I don't know. But, you know, it's... This guy has the potential to be a good playmaker. Like, I'm not saying Tyrese Halliburton thrown through the leg lobs off the backboard. But, like, what he's capable of being so tall, I could see in a world where, in a few seasons, where he's the best version that we can see. He's averaging six or something assists. Maybe six and, some, six and a half assists a game. I don't know. Something like that. Where he can get multiple triple doubles in a season where he's getting 10 plus assists in one game it's like what where does this guy's peak end and that's what i'm like really surprised about he can do and he can like grow to do everything in the game he's already hitting threes and he's getting better at hitting them every single month he's getting better every single month i keep saying this but it's it's like it's true. Every single month of the season, he's getting, like, better. Whether it's efficiency, whatever, whatever. And guess what? 
He's still playing under 30 minutes a night. I think he's playing, what, 28, 29 minutes a game? His per 36 numbers are like 26 a game, 13 rebounds. I think it's close to two steals a game, and it's almost five blocks. I think it's four and a half blocks a game. And his per 36 numbers. It's incredible. And what he's doing, I know, I think the Spurs said they're actually going to try to increase his minutes as the season go on. I mean, that's going to be really cool. I don't know how much it's going to go up. I'm sure it's not going to be 40 minutes a night. I'm probably, it might go up to like 34, whether in the next month it goes up three minutes a night. And then after that, it goes up, whatever, an extra two. I don't know. He's not going to get a drastic extra 10 minutes a night. He's probably going to get an extra like seven by the end of the season, up to probably like 34, 35, maybe something like that. That's what I think, but... I, I don't really know what they're thinking, what the coach's plan is, but we'll see. Maybe by the end of the season, he's getting 30-something minutes a night, 30, like four minutes a night. He's averaging 25, 12, and four blocks a game, and a steal and a half and four assists. I don't know. I'm just giving a random stat line. But I just want to keep saying this guy's potential is limitless. What he's doing out here is crazy, and he's understanding the game more. He's learning it so quickly, and it's incredible. But the only issue is, is his height and how skinny he is. I know that you're going to be like, oh, whoa, whoa, he's so tall, they can help him. But injuries, his ankles, his feet, his legs, they're not, who knows that they're maybe going to hold up a seven foot four guy. And if he gains more weight, let's say he's like 210 pounds right now or however much he weighs. What if he gains in the next four years, he gains 20 pounds? Or like, I don't know. It's going to be tough on his ankles, man. Like we saw, I think Kristaps, I think he's had, I know that I think that was ACL or something like that, but taller players. Look at, look at Yao Ming. Ankle, foot injuries. He's seven foot five, And he was like, he was, of course he's big, he's huge. But being Wemby so flexible, agile, mobile, fast, what he's doing. I mean, he's like super healthy. Like he's not missed, like... I think he's. I think he missed last night or the whenever the last time they played. I'm recording this on March eighth. So whenever like the last time they played, I think it was last night. He didn't play. I actually don't know what he was out with, but he's hasn't missed that many games this season, and it's like impressive. I'm not gonna. I I hope he doesn't get injured in the future. I'm not saying there's zero chance of getting like injured at all, but like I hope he doesn't get injured. Like this guy's incredible. I hope he has like a long good career and injuries don't hurt him at all like I hope he can have like a like a 10 plus year career maybe 15 years and out of everybody I think he is the most potential to be the next player to get like close or hit 40,000 points I know the injuries if I'm not I'm, I hope like I actually hope he doesn't get injured but the thing is with these tall guys being seven foot one plus it's gonna hurt their feet if they're like, they don't have super long careers. And I hope he can play super long because this guy could be the next GOAT. Like, this guy could be the next greatest player of all time. He could be the next person to hit uh, 40,000 points. I don't I don't know. I mean, who else besides that can hit 40,000 points? Luka. Luka's a chance, but he would have to... For the, he would have to play, like, a 21-year career of averaging, like, 30 points a game to actually get 20,000 points. He's got to, like... Can, and who knows? Luca's fat, and who knows if he even wants to play any more than twelve years? I don't know. That's I'm just talking. I don't have no script. But who knows if Luca wants to play more than fifteen years? Maybe he retires at thirty six or something like that. He doesn't play till forty two like LeBron is doing, or he doesn't play super long. Maybe he doesn't even care about. Maybe he just wins a championship and he just chills out, doesn't average thirty a game. Maybe that's all he wants. I don't know who else. Devin Booker. I mean, if he scores 30 a night for the rest of his career, it's going to take him a while. But who else, like, is has the best chance besides Wemby, Luka, or anybody else like that to get close to 40,000 points? I don't know where I started talking about 40,000 points, but I, it was probably just Wemby has the best chance. But this guy's crazy, man. Hopefully injuries don't affect his career in any way. I hope he stays healthy for as long as possible. But I just want to talk about how incredible he is. And he's getting better every single season. I don't know what the point of this video is. I just wanted to get my mind about Wemby. I had no script at all. But there we go. Me talking about Wemby. Those are my opinions.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment, leave a like, and of course hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.